Okay, guys. I'm going to show you how I do the repacker and get my cells for the, the balancing. So, um, this is how I do it. You know, uh, anyways, you could individually populate this or you could put it in a Word file. Um, you always want to put the capacity of the cell, comma, and I usually put a space. You don't probably, I don't think you have to, but it needs to be comma separated, otherwise it sees as one full cell, and then it will really mess up your, when it splits it up into packs, okay? So, 3421, comma, space, 3412, comma, space, 3407, and so on. So, I'm doing uh, seven packs in series, and I got 150 cells. So however many you're putting in a pack, that's how you want to set it up as far as the amount of cells. Now, if you're doing uh, more than that, then you just change it to whatever, and it will split it up in that many packs evenly. Now, as you see down here, I generated the packs. When you click Generate, range into packs, so each have similar capacities, the same number of cells in parallel. Now, this is where uh, this right here kind of messes up things as far as the website because uh, when I'm putting these all in my packs, I'm having 10 by 15. That's how big my, my cells are as far as the cell holders. Okay, I'm using a 3 by 5 and, uh, or actually, It's a three by five. So what it is, that way I, I do two fives. It gives me 10 across. And then I do uh, three times um, uh, five, or five of them. Yeah, five times three is 15. So then I'm doing five of them down. So uh, however you want to you know, work it out, you can buy different cell holders uh, to get whatever type of pack you want. But anyways, I wanted 10 across and I wanted 15 down. That's how I'm building them. So if you notice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this kind of messed with me at first. And of course, then this right here, it will put all those, these cells down here. And that's all 150 cells. But see, that's not breaking it up. This is just all of them, you know, separated into groups. So I guess this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you could do it that way, or what I done, since I want ten by fifteen, and use this. What I done was minimize my window, and that will one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So what I done then is I got a screen capture program, which is called Nimbus, and it's a it's an add-on for uh, Google Chrome, and you can select and then copy. It's called select and scroll, so it lets you select each one of these and then save it as a photo. So then what I did after I saved them all as a photo, I uh, printed them. Okay, so then each one of these I numbered one through seven, and then this will be pack one, pack two, pack three, pack four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and you notice 43, 7, 9, 0, 9, 43, 7, 9, 0, 8, 9, 0, 9, 43, 9, 0, 9, 9, 0, 9. I mean, you can't ask for any better matching on capacity 908 so the divergence is just next to nothing and a deviation is really small too so um, that really helps to have you a very even pack throughout that way these right here will charge up and, and discharge pretty evenly now once I get this all built and put together we'll see how well that works so anyways 
if you let's say you had a, a pack that you're wanting to run say similar to this 150 but you wanted it in four one two three four so what you could do is shrink down the window let me cancel this and of course the window as you shrink it it's going to force this groups to bunch say keep going keep going okay as you shrink now see I got one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so 25 or 26 it's hard to hard to count this way but see what I'm, what I'm trying to show you is it will it will bunch them up depending on how many cells you got here and if you're wanting to do one two three four five wide pack by however many long then you just shrink this window down and then do a screen capture and then once you screen capture that pack You save it as a photo, print it off, and then this will give you what to put in that pack. And if you, let's say you want to take it down to only four wide. So let's close that out. And as you shrink this down, the window's automatically going to resize everything. Oops, it put everything in one pack, didn't it? So, yeah, it'll only let, let you go down so far. So, one, two, three, four, five. So if you had less, it would probably wouldn't push them together. I figured it would actually extend them out and uh, let you go down, you know, however you wanted. But uh, apparently not. It's once you get to a certain point, it's going to bunch them all as one picture. Oh, okay, I put it in a row. So I just shoved it over. So let's see what we can do here. If I can force it into four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Can't go any smaller. Anyways, you get my point. That's how I got my packs. Uh, and a uh, really handy way of doing your uh, getting your capacities so you put all your cells in here how many you're going to in series you know uh, let's say you're going to do a 14 and you generate your packs of course 14 at 150 I need 2100 cells so it will pretty much let you know what you need 750 cells, number of cells are parallel, 150, so I got 1,050 is what you got to have, so it will generate the packs. So anyways, that's using Repacker, so you go to uh, repacker.com, R-E-P-A-C-K-E-R.com, and uh, very neat little site. And it's pretty much doing what a spreadsheet would do. I've done the same thing on a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. And you put in some and uh, put in all your cells and then you can break them up. You can do it either way. But uh, this right here works really well. And, of course, now I'm going through the process like my photos showed and uh, placing the cells in each pack. And uh, hopefully I'll have them uh, further along. I'll take some more pictures as I get them there and show you guys kind of how I've done that and uh, maybe do another video. All right, thanks for watching, and catch me on YouTube. You guys like, subscribe, share, and I'm trying to grow my channel enough to where I can actually maybe monetize a little bit and, uh, you know, share with the community as far as DIY stuff. And also, I do web design and SEO for uh, small businesses. So this is just another niche thing that I'm doing. Uh, i got many, many hobbies, I guess you would say, but uh, I, I do this started doing this uh, because I got interested in 
power saving for my home and having backup power and it's been working really well it's reduced my electric bill over half and uh, the setup as you see in some of my videos now where I got a 24 volt system and it's a post off grid on grid inverter and a charge uh, charger that charges my cells up uh, even if uh, it's there's no sun out because you can program it to charge from the grid as long as you have grid power and uh, so you can you know run them at night if they get too low then it'll switch and it'll start charging them back up and then by the time the daylight gets here they're partly charged and then the sun will finish them off and once they're fully charged you can have the system actually start diverting that energy back to the grid and uh, or to the home and then, then whatever is not needed will be diverted back to the grid so it'll take care of the batteries first the home second and then the third you can have it actually back feed to the grid and of course if uh, where you live will allow this type of inverter then you may actually be able to get credits or, or payment but either way you're going to save so anyways this is Quentin Craft signing off from uh, French Lake, Indiana. You guys, uh, like I said, like, and subscribe, and share. And uh, if you got any comments, put them in the comment section or put them in the DIY Power Group, and uh, I'll see what I can answer.